Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to set up custom emulators using the command line so that we can use that to run Flutter applications. I left Android Studio thinking that if I use VS Code, um, I will be able to create emulators uh, using the terminal. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get the uh, Flutter emulators uh, dash create commands to actually create an emulator for me. It sends me back into oh you need to use the SDK manager so after doing some research um, and spending about three hours I finally was able to go through all of the procedures to create um, an emulator using the Android um, SDK right and the SDK tools and what I want to do is just work you guys through the process for those people that want to use um, VS code and be able to use custom emulators to test your apps right this uh, video will help you do just that so normally what you do is that you would come into um, VS code right and you would type in something like uh, flutter emulators and this will then give you the emulators uh, that is that are currently set up on your machine so right now you can see I only have one emulator called sim all right and this sim emulator wasn't created using the flutter emulators um, that's just create this was actually created using um, AVD, manage, uh, AVD Manager, all right? So what I'll be doing is showing you guys how to set up the AVD Manager. If you are not using anything, right, that's above Java uh, JDK 8, you're probably safe. I haven't tested this on anything else than Java JDK 8. Uh, before I actually tried installing the SDK tools, right? Um, I had JDK 11 and the SDK manager would not even start. There were some missing files, all right? I went through a bunch of different things, just reading documentations online and trying to figure out exactly how to set this up. So I'm trying to make people's lives easier by actually creating this video. All right, so typically we would do, we would do something like this and then you just type in uh, Flutter, then you type in emulator and then you type in dash dash and type uh, launch and then give it the emulator name. We're gonna call this sim. And what it's gonna do is eventually it's gonna go ahead and launch that emulator. And you can see that the app that I run on this emulator is currently running. And it's just the um, application that's on their website. I took it and uh, modified it a little bit and um, changed the uh, function that does the, the uh, set, uh, set state function. I really outside of the um, the anonymous function all right um, so what we're going to be doing is going through the setup process right and this is going to be a part probably one of two or one of three um, so be patient because this takes a little bit of time to set things up and then be able to go through um, accept the uh, SDK licensing um, get all the images over the internet and then be able to then uh, create the um, the emulator and you need to be able to launch it. I know in Linux, you can do more. You can go into the actual emulator and do a lot of changes in there. However, in Windows, I don't have the capability to do that. So I will not be, um, after I've created the, um, the emulator, I don't know how to go ahead and actually uh, make changes from those. So um, that's something that you would have to research and try to figure out. All right, so let's get started. So we need a few things, all right? The first thing that we need is the Java JDK 8. Anything above that is not gonna work. We need the SDK tools and we need Git Bash. Git Bash is going to be used just to create a few files if we really need to create those. Um, when I started this, I had to create two files in the um, Android um, directory. Uh, I don't know if the, in this setup we might need that, all right? So uh, we might not. So what I have done so far is just gone ahead and download the files here. So what we need to do is pretty much just install all of this. All right. And I'm just going to go through the install process real quick. And I will be back when uh, everything is set up. As you guys can see, it says that I already have this installed. We would like to reinstall it. I'm just going to reinstall it for um, reinstalling sake but you should get all of this file. So you need to get um, the Java JDK uh, 8 and the version is fine. And then you need to get a uh, Git bash. I'm gonna go ahead and install that as well. As you guys can see here, kind of make things fast so that you guys don't um, 
spend a lot of time watching this because I'm sure a lot of you guys already have all of this on your machine already. Yeah, like I said, if you have anything higher than that, um, make sure that uh, you downgrade, okay? Uh, if you have a Visual Studio code on right now because it's using the um, the uh, uh, is using git bash right here because I have it set up that way I'm gonna close this down so I could just go through the install okay and let it do its thing and you know what I'm just gonna come back when this is done all right all right so we have both a uh, git bash and we have the JDK 8 installed right so next what we want to do is we want to go ahead and um, extract this SDK tools into a directory under our C drive. So I'm just going to click on it. I have WinRare. So I'm going to go into uh, just type in uh, this PC. All right. And go into the C drive. And I'm just going to go ahead and create another folder here. And I'm going to call it uh, SDK Windows. You can name it whatever you want. It's up to you. And just drag these uh, tools and drop it in there. Once everything is extracted, we will need to set up a few things. All right. So setting up the path so we can access the AVD manager and the SDK manager uh, will really help so that you don't always have to set the path uh, in the um, command line every time you want to use those, uh, those commands. So once this is done, you can go ahead and close this. All right. And now we can just go into our C drive here. If I can find it. There we go. So we can go into our C drive. And what we want to do first is go into program files and find the JDK um, 8 and copy this. Go into the bin folder. We're going to copy the whole entire directory. So just control C or you could just uh, cut or you copy. All right. It's up to you. Next, what we want to do is go into uh pc when i click on pc and click on uh, properties all right this is there's going to be a menu that comes up. It's going to say system on the right side click on advanced system settings all right the reason why i'm not showing you guys that is because it has trivial information about my computer so i'm not going to show you guys that screen go into environmental variables and find path here all right click on edit you guys can see that i already have this setup here all right, so what I'm going to do here is just delete this. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. And I'm going to go ahead and paste this here. All right, so there's one more cache here. Okay, if you have anything, if you have a JDK 9, a JDK 10, a JDK 11 set up like I had earlier, all right, um, the SDK manager will not run. All right, because the first path is going to find is going to be the JDK 11, and it requires JDK seven or eight uh, like i said i haven't tested it for seven but i know probably it'll work for seven um so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and move this up until it's above jdk 11 all right so keep going up until you find uh jdk 11 and once it's over jdk 11 then you can stop all right so right now you can see jdk 11 is here and jdk 8 is at the top all right the next thing you want to do is actually keep this here and click on this and go back to this PC and go back to our C drive and go back into our uh, SDK. Um, I spelled that wrong. So let me go back and change this. I'm going to rename it and change this to SDK. All right. And we want to go into the tools folder and we want to copy this. All right. And then we want to come back to our um, path here and you guys can see that I already have the SDK tools because I had this set up before like I said so what I'm going to do here is just uh, leave it or what I can do here is just delete and then um, I'm going to go ahead and create a new one and control V just to paste that right and then what you want to do is you want to move it up okay so I'm going to move it up until it's uh, above the tools and the bin all right so this order actually matters the reason is because the emulator uh, that exe that's found in the emulator directory uh, for some reason uh, it conflicts with the one in the bin in the tools directory all right so that's the reason why i had the emulator up first or else it will not work in the um with the command line so i'm going to have the tools up and then the bin one right here just go back into this folder and go into the bin directory copy this so this is where we're going to have our sdk manager right and our avd manager 
So I'm going to go ahead and copy those as well. And come back here. And here you can see that we have this here. So you can just probably just double click on it to edit. And you can just delete and paste. If you don't, uh, all right. So if you don't, uh, if you don't have this over here, just click on new. It's going to create a new spot and you can paste that there. All right. So you can click on that. That's okay. All right, this emulator, this emulator one we're gonna set up later once we've accepted the SDK um, manager licensing and then we've gone ahead and installed some of the images. This is gonna install the emulator that you see as part of the um, platform tools, right? Um, under Visual Studio, uh, under Android Studio when you um, set it up. So we're gonna click OK, uh, click OK, and click OK. All right, so one more thing is now we need to check out something. So if you type in CMD, or if you type in git bash or whatever terminal or command prompt you want to use, all right, if you type in something like uh, Java uh, P dash version, uh, you will get the version that you have currently installed. If you are running, if you want to use, um, let's say Java JDK 9 or Java JDK 10 or 11, um, with the terminal you won't be able to all right however if you have a if you're using an ide like um intellij right you can see here that i actually created this project using the java jdk 11 here and since the path is set right it won't really affect the project that you're working on however if you want to compile using the terminal then you will stock with uh java um jdk 8 all right so just want to keep that in mind that's what you have to you would have to give up all right so with all that said and done this will be the first part of the tutorial that we're going to go ahead and cover and then the next video is going to cover pretty much the setting up and the configuration of the um sdk manager licensing the um uh, AVD manager uh, installing the system images as well right and then we'll be able to see how we can create uh, and delete um, uh, AVDs uh, as we would like all right guys this will be it for this part of the tutorial if you guys enjoy please give me a thumb up I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in part two